Mandelic acid. Okay, question five. Mandelic acid, 2-hydroxy-2-phenylethanoic acid, is a component of skincare products, and you're given a nice little uh, skeletal formula of it. Mandelic acid is a weak acid, and you're given the dissociation. Write the expression for the dissociation constant, Ka, for mandelic acid. I think this is a bit of a gift, to be honest. Okay, so we are literally just going to write out the equation. Oh, if I get managed to get my correct pen up. Okay, here we go, pen better than eraser. Okay, so Ka... So we're just looking for products over reactants. So I'm going to do this on one side and that on the other side. And I'm just going to rub that back out again because that's rather messy. Okay, here we go. Um, so we are putting the concentration of C6H5CHOH, COO minus concentration of the hydronium ion here over concentration of the original associated acid. Okay. And that's it. Okay, you don't put in water because water is really only there because it's attaching to a proton to give you the, the hydronium ion and it's not actually really changing concentration. It's still all there. Okay, a 100 centimetre cubed sample of skincare product contained 10 grams of mandelic acid. Ka of mandelic acid is 1.78 times 10 to the minus 4. Calculate the concentration in moles per litre present in skincare product. Okay, so what we have... We've got mass, we've got a volume, and I've got a Ka. That's the three pieces of information I have. But what I also have, which is rather important, I have the formula. So if I've got mass, I can work out moles. Moles is mass divided by formula mass. Once I've got moles, because I've got concentration, I can work out the... Sorry, because I have volume, I can work out concentration. Concentration is moles over volume. So I personally would probably keep this in my calculator, but I did run it through properly in terms of just for writing it out. So 10 grams over the formula mass, 152. To get the formula mass, you're obviously just taking your formula over here. Okay. Now, you have two ways of doing this. I'm always a list person, so there are the elements that I've got present. I have six, seven, eight carbons. I have five, six, seven, eight hydrogens. And I have three oxygens in here. So multiply them up by our formula masses. Okay, so 48 and 8 and 96 gives me my 152. Okay. Um, if you're a line person, which that's absolutely fine. There's your 1, there's your 16, there's your 16. I just think it starts to get rather large when you have a long um, formula like this. Okay, so our 10 divided by 152, so depending on how many decimal places you want to take this to, but I'm going to take it to um, 0 0.658. Okay, I'm then going to take this over. You can keep all this in your calculator, maybe better. Uh, divide it by your volume. Volume is 100 centimetres cubed, which is 0 0.1 litres, so that is 0 0.658 moles per litre. Okay, now technically you don't actually have to write moles per litre because it was in the stem of the question, but I think it's probably good practice still to consider to put that in. In the mark scheme, it would allow you to have gone to 0 0.66. It also would have been happy if you'd gone 0 0.6579, so if you'd rounded further back, or even further back um, at that. Okay, right, use your answer to be... So this is a follow-through mark in some ways. Calculate the pH of a solution of mandelic acid for this concentration. So you've got to look and see what have you got. So what you've got is the concentration of the acid. Okay, so I'm going to go to my data book and I'm going to look for the equations that will help me. I'm looking for pH. This is the one that should jump out at you. Okay, now that. So we've got our half log C because we're just going to do a half log of the, what we've calculated for part one. Okay, what we need is the pKa. We don't have the pKa, we have the Ka. Okay, so 1.78 times 10 to the minus 4. You, to get the pKa, we do the inverse log of the Ka, and that will give us 3.75. Okay, so I'm going to do a half of 3.75 minus a half log 0 0.0. Oh, sorry, not 0 0.0. 0 0.6. 
Okay, that's going to give me 1.875 minus minus 0 0.0909. And overall, that's going to give me 1.97 as my pH. I think this is the one to use, but if you don't want to use that one, the other option is to go straight through Ka. So for Ka, you have to be aware of how this is going to work. Now, just to scan back up again, if we look at this dissociation, what you've lost from this is just one hydrogen ion. Now that's important because it means that for every hydrogen ion I've got over here, I have one of the acid ion here as well. So it's a one and one. So the exact same number of these as these, which means I can basically say they're the same, which means when I write the dissociation constant down here, I can say that the acid ion is actually equal to the hydrogen ion so I could actually say that top line is just the hydrogen ion squared, okay, over the concentration of the original associated acid, okay. So you're expected to be able to work that if you want to use it. So to rearrange that, you would say the H plus is equal to the square root of Ka multiplied by the concentra initial concentration of the acid. And that will give you exactly the same answer. It will give you 1.97. Entirely up to you which one you prefer to use. I see I'm going with a half PKA one. And that's us.